it's time for a new project. I think I have to make a new junk journal <laughs> out of this book. And yeah, I think it's time for some birdies and also some vintage and grungy stuff and perhaps some tea bags. <laughs> Hi there, this is Luisa Heinzel. Welcome back to my channel Junk Journal Art. It's so nice to see you here again. Today I would like to start um, a new project. So yeah, I my fingers are like this <laughs> because I want to make a new junk journal. So yeah, if you would like to join me, this little video series on my channel that's starting today is for you. So I've chosen this vintage book here um, that I want to transform into a junk journal um, by using some new papers from my Etsy shop. So these are brand new. Um, they are just listed. So if you want to check that out, I have linked you um, this thing down below in the description box, of course, so that you can check that out. And um, before I start making the cover today, I would like to flip through these pages so that you can get an imagination of what you can expect when you follow this little series here on my channel. So, um, yeah, those papers are made from, I think, 90% of this thing um, was made in reality and then I turned it into a digital uh, printable paper. So, for example, those tea bags here. Um, I made by myself and um, then I scanned them and brought them into this digital um, form here and I think <laughs> I'm so excited that I um, forgot to tell you how this um, junk journal pages are called so these are the teabag bird junk journal pages if you want to um, search that um, in my shop or yeah wherever or if you want to know it just know it sorry uh, yeah so uh, of course here are no birds but <laughs> when you flip you can see um, there are little birds like this one and also um, the birds so all of the birds I um, painted by myself on my iPad in Procreate and then I turned them um, into yeah this digital format so that I can make my printable stuff here out of it and also those little elements that you can see here with this um, corrugated cardboard um, I made by myself and then yeah scanned them and put them into this pages here so for me this is yeah <laughs> a really special thing because I think I never did um, so many elements of such a kit in reality and then turned it into a digital um, piece of paper. So that was seriously a new experience for me and it was really, really fun to do. So <laughs> perhaps <laughs> that's not so interesting for you, but I have to bring my feelings out. Um, yeah, because I'm so excited to make my own journal out of this and I, I hope that you also like those papers here. So um, I printed these to um, DNA4 paper. So um, this item in my shop is only available in DNA4. That's because of some technical um, things with US letter and DNA4. <clears throat> but of course you can also print all of those pages to an US letter page if you are in an area where you only have US letter. And um, then when you do that you will get um, yeah, a border belonging to the settings of your printer and then you can just cut it off so that you have um, a borderless page like this is here. Yeah, and that's this <laughs> this bird here. So please excuse my my long talking, but <laughs> this bird was the starting point of this whole um, junk journal kit. So um, sometimes you tell me it's interesting for you to know um, what's behind such a paper, and I often talk in my videos about yeah this background of my printables because there's always a background and. Yeah, <laughs> I was in my living room with my iPad 
and um, I actually wanted to search on Pinterest for some junk journal inspirations and um, with my yeah you can see obviously uh, two thick fingers I used my smartphone and I wanted to type um, a search word in this search bar and I didn't realize that I wrote it wrong and suddenly a photo of such a bird came to my eye. It was a totally different photo because yeah as I said I made this here by myself but um, yeah, by this happy accident, I thought, okay, okay, Luise, stop searching on Pinterest for some, uh, yeah, <laughs> ideas and start making a junk journal kit with, uh, yeah, such kind of birds. And that was the starting point. And then I, yeah, thought about a background that's really, <sighs> how can I say, mm, vintage, but also grungy and some kind of modern as well. When you look at this, you can see it's not that typical vintage paper that, that we perhaps know. So that's not meant bad uh, against the designers of uh, vintage paper, of course. But um, it's not this typical vintage thing. Um, yeah, perhaps you wouldn't call it vintage. I don't know. Um, that's what I printed to the front side. So have I missed one? No. Um, and on the back, on the back side, I've also printed something already, um, because yeah, when you put white copy paper into your <clears throat> into your printer and you print uh, the printable pages on the front side, of course the back side is white. And um, for that, I have an additional uh, little paper pack in my shop. So that's this one here, and uh, this are four pages. This are 12 pages so that you can print these three times and ne, uh, come to the 12 pages in total. So what you can see here is um, called tea bag papers in my shop and I just um, printed them here to the back side and I printed those four pages that are in this uh, little kit. Um, three times so that I get 12 backgrounds. So as you can see now here um, it starts from new and um, those are the same backgrounds uh, three times following each other. Um, you might think okay that's a little bit boring because yeah the same things here but I wanted to have the chance to um, um, create something here on the top and have some place for journaling, for example. And um, so I decided that it's not so bad to have um, multiple, multiple of those same uh, pages in one journal. It also brings me some kind of, um, yeah, let me call it um, color bridges. So when I have um, the same colors here and I put something on top, some collages or that stuff, then I um still have those colors through the whole journal that was the plan um yeah and <clears throat> there's an ephemera pack um that fits this pages as well so i will not show you that now because i don't want to show you too much of this stuff in one video so <laughs> i want to start with my journal sorry um but for your information, there's also a matching ephemera pack, um, pack for this papers here. Okay, so um, let's start. This book is really old. <laughs> and it's always yeah some kind of strange feeling to destroy such a book. Um, but we have to do it because we need the cover. So um, this is from 1912, I think. I think so and these pages are really really nice so I think when I look at this I can also um, use some of those pages perhaps in the inside of the book um, perhaps I have to read a little bit what's going on here um, but I like this this writing and I think yeah I think we will use some of those pages in the inside as well. It has this really gorgeous old um, letters here, as you can see. And I think this is also a cool material for collages and that stuff. 
And this page, this yeah, kind of end paper is also really nice. I think I will save that as well. So, oh, <laughs> look at this knife. Will that work? I don't know. Let's try it. So first of all, of course, I have to cut here. I make first um, a little cut here um, I, with nearly no pressure so that I can get out this page here um, completely so that yeah, I have this now and I can tear it or cut it but I will have this edge here really uh, nice when I do it like this and let's do that on the ins uh, back side as well come out I think I have to take this page out as well perhaps three yeah okay and then I don't have to care about these end papers and I can make it like this and then go into this little slot here and cut this off um, I like to take out the end papers first so if I um, cut a little bit uh, yeah not so regular then so I mean here then it would be not the problem because the end paper is uh, removed and it is has a clear edge here so yeah hopefully that makes sense okay so I think the hardest part is done because now I can make it like this and then just cut here okay the knife looks weird but it's really sharp <laughs> I'm surprised okay now we have this cover here and then I just take this off a little bit so that I can see uh, this original cover here. So I mean the material of the cover, this cardstock, cardboard, I don't know. You know what I mean? I am always struggling with the word cardstock and cardboard. I think this is a cardboard. <laughs> These English words are sometimes such similar that I don't know which one is the correct one. So now when I have it like this, I can see this this little line here so that I have the chance to cut this off really, really exact. And um, there are two ways to do that. One is to um, put this here to your table or to your cutting mat. And then you can uh, just take such a knife and go here and you will have a really clear uh, cut. But in this case, this uh, green material from the cover is peeking over the edge of this thing here. Hopefully you can see that. And um, yeah, it's really hard to cut with a knife. So I just take my scissors and go along the edge of this cover here so that I can cut this really exactly this takes a little bit longer of course but believe me it's worth it to cut this little shitty shit here off because uh, then you have an easier job with um, putting the new cover together when this is nearly a clear line. You can also, um, if you are not satisfied with this, take your knife and go over this a little bit, but not too much. You don't want to destroy the cover itself, just to 
um, get rid of these little pieces that maybe still are there. And by the way, um, you perhaps know that I make or I try to make my videos on this channel in German and in English. And normally you would expect the exactly same video, one in German and one in English. But for this thing here, I decided to make it a little bit different because, yeah, to be honest, um, the other thing is really, really boring for me. So <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. I, I yeah, I just have to say the truth. When I uh, recorded my uh, videos in the past, I made it like that, that I first recorded the German version and then I made a voiceover and um, spoke the tutorial or the instructions in English over the same video that I made before in German. And yeah, when I cut the German video and I edit it and yeah, perhaps put some music and that stuff, it takes me so long and it's so boring for myself because I know what's happening in this video and that's so boring to see over and over again until this video is finished and the editing is finished that I decided that I want to do it a little bit different in the future. So um, I will make a German version of this video as well and I will use the same papers from this um, teabag bird collection but the journal itself will be a little bit different. So I'm using this old book cover here um, for this tutorial for the English version, but in the German version I will make another cover. So with the same papers, <coughs> excuse me please, with the same papers and the same theme, but a little bit, yeah, some kind of a variation. So if you are interested and um, if you want to check that out, even if you don't understand anything, of course, you can click the German video. I hope I am able to uh, write the titles of the videos so that you uh, can understand which one is which one. <laughs> but if you want to um, see a variation of this cover, so perhaps you want to craft along with me with this little uh, series and with the paper, then um, and you don't like what I'm doing here, then you can check out the German video for more inspiration and for some variations of this <clears throat> and I think that's a way for me that I can yeah that I can handle without sleeping during editing my videos <laughs> I hope that's okay for you so um, if you perhaps are a beginner and never did this what I did do here <laughs> I don't want to say shit, but it's a little bit some kind of shit. Um, then please make sure that uh, you have all these loose things here. So uh, that you uh, take them off. Everything that's loose, I will take it off so that I don't get any problems when I put my new pages in later. And that's, I think, really important because when you glue something on top here, of course you will get problems when this uh, is not glued to the, the original book and it comes off. Then you have a problem with the new spine and the new pages. Okay. I think that's okay. So now, let's see if... Uh, some dust in my face, sorry. Let's see if those pages can fit into this journal. So, of course, I will mix those with some other other pages. And I also will tell you something about the papers that I... Um, the additional papers that I will choose. But I first wanted to have you... Yeah, an, a, a quick overview over this printable pages so that you are not confused if I would mix them with music paper and with coffee dyed paper and that stuff that's yeah some kind of boring and and uh, perhaps 
um, not so clear what's included in this digital paper pack. So when I look at this, I see that the height is nearly perfect. I think I could live with that, but this is not so good. I think I have to cut a little bit here. So let me show you that from the back side. So um, I think approximate, no, that cannot be the reality. Sorry. When I put it here. Yeah, I think like this, then I would have this tiny little space here, uh, this little thing here, what I have to cut off, but I think I will first um, fold all the pages and search for additional papers and then I will make my signatures and put all the paper inside here and then I can see if I like it that it is peeking out here or if I will cut it and when I um, decide that I cut it, I can cut all the pages at once by yeah, uh, putting the signatures to my table and then cut along here. So let's first fold those pages. Yeah. And I think this green of the cover is really, really nice. I'm thinking about uh, just um, covering this title of the book and leaving the rest as it is because I think uh, this <laughs> matches really well. And I also like to fold the pages not all the same way. So as you can see, the other both I have folded. I made it like this so that this um, teabag bird paper is on this side and then I folded it like this so that this other paper is here, this background paper. But I like to um, do it, yeah, a little bit uh, versatile. No, that's not the right word. I know that's not the right word, but let me show you. When I make it like this, then I have the background here and this other paper here. So that when I flip um, through the book later, I will have um, this, yeah, main pages, I would like to call it, that make the theme of the book. Um, sometimes here and sometimes this way. And also, if I would um, put those pages next to each other, I can make a new main page, if that makes sense, by putting them together like this. And otherwise, if I would fold them all the same way, it would be like this. And that's, of course, also possible. But I want to have so yeah, some kind of variation as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm strange, I know. So let's fold the rest. And um, then I will go to my stash and search for some papers that I would like to put in here additionally. Um, and I will show you in the next video how I um, arranged those signatures. And also we will solve the problem with this, uh, yeah, picking out things there. Perhaps I will cut the pages or I will leave it like it is, but I will discuss that in the next video. If you have any questions, um, if you yeah want to ask me something, please feel free to leave a comment. If you want to check out those papers, please visit my Etsy shop. You can find those there. As I said, the link is down below in the description box. And um, if you want to see some pictures or that stuff um, of those different uh, stadiums and the different techniques that I will show you in this little series. Then you can also follow me on Instagram. I will post regularly some pictures, some reels and stories and that stuff so that you can um, follow along there as well. And if you think, okay, I like Louise's tutorials, I like what she's doing, but I don't like this paper, 
that's of course no problem as well because um, everything that I will show in this video of course you can do uh, with any other papers as well so we will make some collaging we will uh, make some clusters some snippet rolls some journaling cards pockets everything that you can imagine that could fit into such a journal and of course you can also follow these tutorials and these ideas um, by using a completely different paper <coughs> that's of course possible then you have to choose the colors that you want and yeah you can make your own thing um, you don't have to use this this uh, papers if you want to follow those tutorials so I think <sighs> when I look at this ugh, I, I hate it I hate it when when <sighs> when this is nearly perfect but it's not perfect can you see how how small this little thing is that I have to cut up uh, cut up cut off um, <laughs> In German it's abschneiden so that's the reason why I said cut up it's cut off sorry my brain I I, I can't resist to scream when I see something like this so you have this beautiful cover and you think okay everything is nice and you make it like this and then then you see that it is only such a tiny bit that these papers are too long but yeah <laughs> i think we can solve that but for all the beginners don't leave it like it is please because yeah of course you could leave it like it is it is a junk journal of course but if you want to have um, some kind of really beautiful and regular looking book um, then you could take a look at the distance of this thing here so let me show you it like this so when you take one page it's easier to see when you put it like this then you can see that this space here is I think about uh, three millimeters or yeah I think three millimeters and it's the same here and if you would leave the pages like they are here and they are uh, one line here with the cover I think that looks a little bit strange when you open uh, the book and flip through it because yeah for my eye it's not so aesthetic when this is one line and here's this little space and here's this little space but all the papers um, are made in a way that you can also cut a tiny bit here and that would be no problem you will not lose uh, the bird or something like that so as you can see even the other way around um, it would be no problem to cut four or five millimeters here okay so um, that's the start for my new project I will now um, go to my stash and search for some matching papers that can fit those things here and um, in my next video I will show you what I uh, collected and then we will go on and yeah finish this journal uh, I can't say but <laughs> go on with this journal I hope you enjoyed this little introduction and I hope we will see the next time. Stay creative and have a great time. Bye bye.